It's just Pete Dan got GCC P golf coaching. Okay, so on the chipping green now, so do you want to just hit some of your chip shots to the near flag? What club do you have? A sandwich. Okay, so you've got a sandwich. Chip to the near ones with your normal technique. Okay. I caught that one a little bit thin, but don't worry. Okay. There's two more. Okay, now um, you, th you thinned all four of them, and uh, I'll tell you why later actually. Because, we'll but for this chip, I'll give you your nine iron. This one, that's your nine iron. And the reason I'm going to give you your nine iron is because, as you can see here, you've got a lot of green to work with. So you've only got to get it over maybe two yards of uh, fairway before you have to put the green. The idea with the nine iron is a bump and run chip shot. So you're going to land it just on the green. Yep. And it's going to roll out like a putt. Yep. So to do that, you're going to need to narrow your stance slightly, and it's pretty much just a putting stroke. So you're going to go straight back and straight forward. You should try that. That's good. So we'll work on the technical bits for uh, later. Need to be a bit softer than that because of the distance of the shot. But yeah, that's a better technique for this shot. So don't worry about the results. Well, that, that's much better already. That's the first one, and that's much better. Let's do that with maybe two, three more. So do you notice how you, as you're just pitching it on, it's rolling out as if you've just hit a putt. It's a lot easier to judge. It's very consistent. So just do one more, and then we'll move on to helping you with your other chip shots. So that's the four much better ones than the other ones. So now we'll move on to your other ones. Okay, so um, we've now moved on to a chip shot, which as you can see has got much less green to work with. Yep. So now we're going to use your sandwich like you were using previously. But uh, do you agree that that bump and run shot you did with your 9-iron nine -nine helped a lot more with that? Without a doubt. Yeah, okay, good. But with this shot, as you can see, a lot less green to work with. You've still got to carry it over about a yard and a half, two yards of fairway yep. before it's going to go onto the green. So it's not an easy shot because you don't have... You've probably only got about 10 feet of green to work with. Yep. So we're going to use your sandwich here. So if you just want to set up and do maybe two chip shots like you are doing before, and it'll help you with your technique. Better. Right, one more. Okay. Okay, so um, what you were doing there is you were doing your bump and run technique like I just taught you with your 9-iron, yeah. which is perfectly fine. You weren't hitting any really bad shots. But what we want to do here, as we've got less green to work with, we want to use a slightly different chipping technique. So if I show you here, what you were doing was just your routine putting stroke like that, okay? But what we want to get you to do is open your feet slightly. So instead of doing that, you're going to just tilt them slightly left and also maybe narrow your stance slightly. And also stand a bit closer to the ball. Yep. And then to compensate for aiming left with your feet, you're going to open your club face, not drastically like that, just the tiniest bit. And then with your chip shot, be 
you're going to try and avoid moving your wrists. You can see there my wrists had nothing to do with the uh, with the swing. It was all in my shoulders and arms. Yep. So it's just like a pendulum back and forward. So you just have a few, work on one bit at a time. So first just work on narrowing your stance and opening it slightly to the left. So a bit narrower, and slightly to the left, yeah that's good. Just try a few like that, a few short swings. Got it a bit fat, but it's actually okay. Okay, and one more. That last one was very good. Now. Uh, with the exception of the last one, did you notice the first two came off the club face very low? Yes. And didn't really carry the fairway by much. So what, that was the reason because you weren't opening the club face. Yep. So what you want to do now is that was good with your stance, you had a narrower stance, but now you want to open the club face slightly, uh, and then you'll get more loft on the ball. So if you just go and set up, Three or four balls. So do what I was just telling you. Yep, there you go. And you're just the slightest. Yeah, that's good. Now you might end up thinning a few, but don't worry about the result. You notice how that carried the pharaoh by a lot more? Yes. Good. Two more. Very good, okay. Last one, and then we'll go on to a slightly different idea. Okay, have another one, because we want to finish on a good one. That was just slightly fat. Oh, good, okay. So did you notice that you had much, or you hit much better shots, a big improvement in your technique and results? Good, okay. Okay, so we've now moved on to a slightly harder chip shot. As you can see, you're gonna be chipping down a tier. So obviously this chip's going to have a lot of break in it as soon as it hits the green. So what the club do you have in your hand? Sandwich. Sandwich, okay. So if you hit a few shots just aiming at the flag, like I was just teaching you. Okay. Okay. So do, think about the technique. Just aim at the flag. We're going to see how the ball reacts when it hits the green. Okay. It's slightly fat, so just do a slightly longer stroke on the way back. Don't bother about speeding it up. It's slightly thin but better. Now, do you notice how that chip shot broke slightly from right to left when it hit the slope? So hit another shot at the flag. Just one more. Oh, okay. So we'll go one more. Just. Nice and smooth. Much better. Okay, so just watch the line of this ball. Now, do you notice how that's finished to the left of the flag? Because of the way it's broken from right to left. So, I'm going to move this ball. But where are you now going to aim for this next drop? Further slope. Okay, so whereabouts? I'm going to stand on the slope. I've also got a sand wedge, so the ball should react the exact same way as it hits the green. Okay, 
that's just about going to get there. Okay, it wasn't, I did catch it slightly fat, it wasn't the best, but you did still see how it just trickled down. Absolutely. Okay. Just do three shots aiming at that bull, which I placed there for you. Same technique, slightly longer swing, but same speed. Good, and it's going to release. Let's watch it break. Just do a few more, and just see the drastic improvement when you just how much the bull like reacts on the green, how important it is in a chip shot. Okay, it was slightly thin, but it's still going to react to the break. Just one more, and do you understand why I'm telling you to do a slightly longer swing? Yeah, because it's a longer shot. It's a good one to finish. Oh, well, you've hit the ball. So that was going to end up very good, but. That would have been in. <laughs> that was very good. Okay, so now you've hit those shots. But now, if you want to move some balls a bit closer to the green, and now you're going to use your 9 iron, the bump and run shot, like I was telling you before. Okay. So because now you've got less green to carry over, if you want to grab your 9 iron, you can move that way. to the left from the break. Let's have a few shots. Yeah, you've hit it slightly to the left, but it's looking quite good. There we are, so it's coming out. So maybe that ball might be a bit too far to the right. So maybe just aim a bit slightly inside it. That one's it's going to come in, and oh, he's hold it. So that that's a good one to finish on there. So um, you notice how all the balls that are close to the hole uh, are the ones which you were reading the break with. Yeah. So you notice how important reading the break on chip shots are. Absolutely. Yeah. Now we're going to go over to the putting green, where you're going to work on your putting stroke, and also you'll develop this idea of reading the break. Okay. okay? 